The golden question, the one question all stock traders ask, how do you find the next big stock? So today's goal is to teach you guys how to hand select your stocks. And I wanna start by talking about one of my personal selections right now, which is Disney. So let's sit over here and do this. This is an example of one of my midterm to long-term portfolios that is approximate value of 100,000 US dollars right now as it stands in about February of 2024, maybe up and down within $5,000 by March of 2024. I've highlighted on the top the total value of Disney, which is a stock that I've hand selected selected based off of the rules that I'm going to teach you today. And you can see I have about 30 shares of Disney at $110.75. And you can see what I've made in the last six months. I've only had this position open in six months and I made about $630 on this stock. So imagine that I've made $100 a month on one stock in my portfolio. And today I'm going to talk about why I decided ultimately to put my hard earned cash to work and invest in Disney. So you understand the ins and outs of making these decisions. Now, before we do this, guys, I want to remind you that I'm doing a challenge publicly with the world right now. I'll be tracking some of the results right here on my channel, which is the $5 investment per day challenge. This challenge is for people that want to start investing with as little as $5 a day. And I'm going to be doing it alongside with you all year long. All you have to do is go to 5 in daily.com, visit the site, join the group, and I'll see you guys on the inside where we're going to be talking about tips, tricks, strategies, and even live sessions to show you guys how to manage as little as $5 per day invested. So the first thing I want you guys to do is head over to the internet and go to finance.yahoo.com. You will find this exact website. Now this website is where I go to manage a lot of my decision making from a data driven perspective. The first thing we're going to do is come up here where it says search and I'm going to type in DIS for Disney. I would encourage that you do this with me. Now, when I load this up, what this is going to do is give you guys an idea of just the overall summary of the stock from its market cap to its earnings date to its dividend, all sorts of different stuff. And I don't really look at too much of this. I got to be honest, I barely read any of this. But what I definitely do is I look at this number. What is the dividend yield? Now, the reason I highlight this is that I don't know who's watching this video. One of you is watching this video. You're 18 years old. You're inspired by my results in just 10 years. Another person is 65 and you're trying to figure out how to retire. And some of you guys are in between. The point is, depending on your goals, this may or may not be the perfect stock for you. What do I mean? Well, if you're 75 years old and you've built up a nest egg of a million dollars, but you don't necessarily want to start pulling money out for retirement and you want to make, I don't know, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 a year without touching your principal, then this isn't going to be the stock for you, right? You need to find stocks with a higher dividend to allow that cash flow to accumulate in order for you to not have to touch your overall portfolio principal, but also make a cash flow, aka your retirement. On the flip side, you might be younger, maybe 18, 20, 30, 40, and you you might be saying, I'm not thinking about retirement yet. All I care about is growing this portfolio over time. And what I care about is making sure that the portfolio is sound on good reasoning with good companies. Well, in that case, you're not going to care about the dividend just as much. So I just thought wanted to show you guys just a little bit of my thought process behind it for obvious reasons. I'm only 28 years old. I don't care necessarily too much in this portfolio. Specifically, this one is not a dividend portfolio, the one that I'm showing you today. I, I don't care that much about a dividend. So that number doesn't matter to me, but that's one of the things I do look at on the summary page. Now, for the sake of this video, we're talking about how to actually decide if this is a stock that is good to buy or not. And so what I do is I actually go into the financial tab. And the first thing I do is I look at revenue on the top and you'll notice that it goes from 2020 over. And as time goes on, if you watch this video in 2025, this will no longer show 2020. It will show 2021. And so that's what we make our decisions based off of. And what I do is I look at, has the revenue grown from this year to TTM? Now, TTM is fancy for rolling 12 months. So it's based off the last 12 months, not necessarily a calendar year. It's because we're in the middle of a year. And so what that does for us is that shows us, are we still growing in the now? And so my question for you guys is, and this first question on deciding if a stock is good or not, is asking yourself, is revenue growing overall? Meaning, is TTM greater than 2020? In this case, look at that. The answer is yes. And what our goal is, is to get four or five yeses, which means we are going to decide to enter a stock based off of four or five yeses. We only ask ourselves five questions. I'm going to go through all five in today's video, but we got yes number one. Yes, our revenue is growing overall. Question number two, is our revenue growing recently, which is our TTM versus our most recent year? Yes or no? As you guys can see, this number 
is greater than this number. Just barely, but it is. And so yes, we get yes to answer number two. We've answered ourselves two questions. Now that's all we do on the income sheet page, on the income statement. Now we go over to cash flow. When I go down to cash flow, what I pay attention to is free cash flow. I love, love, I can't, I can't understate this enough. I love investing in businesses that have free cash flow, positive growing free cash flow. Cause you know what that means? That means that they can reinvest in their business in a healthy manner. That means they can potentially increase dividends or pay dividends, which means they're gonna thank their shareholders for investing. My third question is very simple. I go to TTM. Is this number a positive number? Is it greater than zero? Does it have a negative in front of it or not? You can see this is what a negative number looks like. See that little negative sign right here? That's a negative. Now, I'm paying attention to free cash flow. Answer me this. Is this a positive free cash flow stock? Yes, because the number is not negative. That's answer to number three. Answer to number four, we go back to how we were looking at the revenue. We ask ourselves, is it growing overall? And is it growing recently? Is it growing overall? Is TTM greater than 2020? The answer is yes. Is TTM greater than 2023? And the answer is yes. Notice I just got five yeses. What did I say? I look for five or four yeses to invest into a stock. That is simply what I'm looking to do. With regard to this, I wanna answer just a couple of questions that I commonly get to make sure it's clear on this video. The first thing is, notice the dip. You go from 3.596 and then it dips to the ones. Does that matter is the question I get a lot of times. And the answer is no, it doesn't matter. What I care about is 2020 to TTM. Next year in 2025, if we were doing this, it'd be 2021 to TTM. That's what I care about. I don't look at, was there a dip? Businesses have ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys, all sorts of things. What I wanna know is how is it doing overall? How is it doing recently? Those are the questions I'm asking myself. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to a chart. This is on tradingview.com. This is Disney here. What I wanna show you guys is over the last several months, September really till now, I've been talking about Disney being a great stock to look to get long on. As you saw, not just talking about it, really walking the walk. I bought this six months ago. Actually, not even at the best exact price, but I bought it at six months ago. And the point I'm trying to make, guys, what I looked at was I've got five yeses. When I get five yeses, I have an A-graded stock. When I get four yeses, it's a B-graded stock. Three yeses, I've got a C-graded stock. Two yeses, I've got a D-graded stock. One yes is an F-graded stock, and of course, zero yeses is also an F. And so what I do is I look at also the price from the high to where it is at now. So it was 61% off the highs. Imagine being able to invest in a stock that was A graded, meaning overall revenue growing, cash flow looking good, over 60% correction. That's what I was looking at. That's why I did it. But even now, it's still approximately 45% off of the all-time highs. A discount of 45% hidden in the rough as an A-graded stock, a company that has growing revenues. It has growing cash flows. It has great brand recognition. These are the things that I look for when I'm looking to buy a stock. And a lot of people, they just miss this because they just wanna buy the next biggest thing, the next best thing, or the next cheapest thing. I'll give you an example. Think of Alibaba. If you go over to Alibaba and you look at the overall correction from these highs right here to this low, look at that, 82%. It's currently off those highs at 77%. And if I were to quickly bust through our five questions, go back to BABA, go over to the financials, and look at this. Notice I've got growing revenue overall, growing revenue recently, and then go over to cash flow. Notice what happens on cash flow. I've got growing overall, but not growing recently. What is that? That is a B graded stock. I'm not saying it's a terrible stock, by the way, but I'm stating. The reasons why you might select a Disney, which is an A grade, over a BABA, or you might consider a BABA, a B grade. And this list could go on. We could talk about American Airlines, and I could click into here and we could say, okay, we have growing overall revenue, we have growing recent revenue, cash flow is positive, it's getting better overall, it's getting better recently. There's another A graded stock. Do you guys starting to see this? If I go to AAL, Where's it at? I actually, in one of my portfolios, am a buyer of this. You can see AAL is an A-graded stock, 75% off of the highs. But the list goes on and on. And the point I'm trying to make is what you guys will start to notice is you're gonna go into some of these stocks on the right side of my screen and you're gonna find one of them that's a B or a, then a C, then a D-graded stock. Now you know what to avoid. Now you know what to set your side on. Now you know what to look at. And what I want you guys to do is make sure that you guys go to the five in daily challenge. Go to that website 
website. Make sure you're part of our challenge. And now you're going to be well equipped to decide what stocks am I going to add to my portfolio at just $5 a day or whatever you feel comfortable with. Last but not least, if, you, if I could ask you of anything, my pay here is likes. For you to pay me, all you got to do is click that like button. I appreciate you guys so much and we'll see you on the next video.